Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Um, today I'm going to show you how I got this really cool, sparkly, glittery, purple, gray shade eyeshadow look. So, well, I used the Carly Bible Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills bomb palette. I really, really like it and this was my first time using it. So, if you want to see how I got this cool eyeshadow look, then keep on watching. It's really, really smooth. Carly Bible, she's bomb at doing makeup. She has like a bunch of collabs with other companies. She made one with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is one of my favorites. I love their eyeshadow palettes. But look how gorgeous this is, you guys. It's so pretty. I had to get it. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. At first, when I saw this, um, I not in person, but online, I was like, eh, I don't think I need it because I really don't, let's be honest. But I saw it in person and I was like, uh, it's different. I have to have it because it's different and it's not because it's a different shade of nude a nude lipstick but it's different like look at this maybe I need to change it's gonna storm really bad let me change the lighting hand look how pretty this palette is I'm not really sure what look I'm gonna do today for you guys but I'm loving all of it let's use the purples okay so I went ahead and primed my eyelids oh my gosh I'm so excited to try this out have issues all right so what I'm gonna do is take the color bear I think that's her cat's name and put it all over the eyelid I just like doing that stuff at least just in the transition shade or in the transition section the crease just because I feel like it makes the eyeshadows easier to blend there's a lot of kickback so you're forewarned a lot of kickback, meaning when you grab the shadow, a lot of it comes out, a lot of it dusts off. Um, but I feel like their palettes, Anastasia's palettes, I'll do that. I could be wrong. I don't have all of them, but I've played with many and they do have kickback to them, which I don't mind. But if that bothers you, just know that you're going to get it. All right. So what I'm going to do next is take, right, let's use Cindy. We're going to take Cindy and put that in the upper part of the crease. I'm going to use the same brush. Ooh. Let's bring it up. Let's not be scared today. Let's bring it up. Let me zoom you guys in. Sorry. Okay, so sorry about that, you guys, but I had to fix it for you. There's no point in doing a video if you can't see what I'm doing. <sighs> All right, so what I'm going to do is take a Holiday Inn card, business card, take Cindy and kind of flick it out. So grab any business card. I'm going to actually take it out like that far just because I want to be a dramatic you know, just want to be dramatic. Oh my gosh, this whole time, all I had to do was push this button for it to focus. Oh my gosh, kill me. No, I can't believe it. I spent that much. It's okay. We got it now. We're good. Thank God. Now I can zoom you guys in. Sorry. Okay, so. Wow, I'm such an idiot. Sorry, sorry. Right. So you see how I'm kind of extending it out? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, so take your business card, kind of just plop it on there. Give it the shape that you want. How high up you want, how low you want it. I kind of want it to be flicked up a little bit. I do have my foundation on. It's the Shiseido self Refreshing synchronizing foundation. <laughs> this one I'm doing a video on like a wear test, so hopefully I said that right. Alright, so now that we have that all done, what I'm gonna do is take what do we want to use, you guys? Okay. This one's OA. That's really pretty. Let's just swatch these. Jode is really pretty. Dang, man, these are all really pretty. Ooh, ooh, but I like this one. This one's Mandala. Like the Mandala effect. 
Ooh, you guys, I can't pick. I'm gonna use all three. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's put Jode on the outer half of the lid. So, small, flat brush. See how I'm doing that? We're just playing today, you guys, like we usually do. You know the gist, you know the drill. Oh my gosh, this color though. This reminds me of the color from a Lorac palette, that palette that I tore up. The Pro palette, ooh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I love gray, like purple tones. These are so sick. Can you tell I'm loving this palette, you guys? She did an excellent job. Excellent. Well, they did an excellent job with this palette because it wasn't just one person. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it applies so nicely. Let's bring this one in just a little bit more. So you should have something like that so far. Now what I'm gonna do is take, you know what, I wanna see, let's try with the brush. Let's do Mandala, that light purple that I swatched. Let's bring it in the inner half. Wow. I don't have anything like this palette. This is so cool. This purple has like flecks of blue, it has like blue iridescence in it. I'm actually gonna go over. Let's just go over to make it more intense. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so I'm literally just bringing it up like that, you guys. See what I have going on? You should have something like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I think it would be easier to use your finger. Let's try with the finger. Fingers, your best tool, you guys. I would never steer you wrong. Go for it, get down and dirty. All right, now we're taking that OA shade. And we're gonna play with it. We're just gonna play with it. Ooh, should we do it in the middle? I don't know. Oof, yes. All right, I'm gonna use my finger again. OA. I usually wouldn't spend this much time on eyeshadow, but I really want to play with all the colors. Okay, see, I'm gonna take a big fluffy clean brush by Morphe 330, and I'm just gonna kind of fix that part. the same brush but I'm gonna go in with chai this one and I'm gonna put it right in the crease but I'm not taking it up as high as we put Cindy I'm putting it right in the middle 
it's going to really focus it on that. So just using the brush, taking the tip of the brush, do you like that? I'm going to grab my card, Holiday Inn coming through. Kind of make them even. Taking the um, Joad shade again. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm taking OA shade. Bringing it up a little bit from where we put Cindy. Kind of focusing it on the outer V as well. take a smaller brush with a smaller detailed brush so I can really get in there and uh, clean up with some concealer Okay, next I'm going to go ahead after I blend out the concealer and just add some of my loose powder under the eye. I'm going to put an excess amount just so that way when I do the lower lash line, when I apply the shadows to the lower lash line, I want it to fall onto the loose powder so that way I could just wipe it off afterwards. Chai. Here, chai. I'm going to just dust it under the eye. And now I'm going to take Jode. And then really concentrate that on the actual lash line. Same brush. Really focusing on the outer corner right here. A small detailed brush and Mandela, the light purple. Apply it right in the inner part of the eye, the lower lash line. Now we're going to clean up with a brow bone highlight. I'm going to take this Morphe M124 brush, it's just a small flat definer brush, and I'm going to apply Bali. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do Bali. Right underneath the brow bone. Let's see how it applies. Now what I'm going to do is take Moo, <laughs> that's cute, take this shade right here and put it on the inner corner with a smaller brush. Brush, this is a Morphe Dragon Hill brush in JH39 
and I'm gonna apply Moo. It's a little bit golden. I'm gonna actually take some of that and put that up here as well. I thought it would be a little bit too dark, that's why I didn't want to go in with it, but I think it suits to look a little bit better. Okay, now we are done with the shadow. We're gonna go ahead and dust off. Our translucent powder. I'm gonna add Rimmel's uh, this is a nude liner to I'm gonna apply some mascara and some falsies and I'll be right back all right guys so right now what I'm doing is just adding on my highlight <clears throat> We're gonna use, well I mixed it. I actually just put on the Fenty Beauty uh, Crystal Fire and Lightning Dust Highlight, but I'm gonna also put a little bit of this um, Diamond Bomb on top just because I feel like it's really gonna pull the look together. Cause it has like those chunks of glitter, which I feel like really goes well with the eye look. So yeah, I just applied my lashes. Um, and then the lipstick that I went in with is the Chanel Ingenue. Rouge Coco Shine and the blush is the Blushing Bride from Tarte. Looks like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, I'm not going to set the face just because I am doing a wear test today. So this is the finished look. I really, really love it. Nice purples, beautifully iridescence of blue in there. Um, some grays. I really like this palette. So um, let me know what you guys think of this look. Leave a comment down below and like this video. Um, and if you have this palette, what like let me see some looks, you guys. Let me see some looks with this palette. I love it so far. So I'm going to definitely continue using it. And I highly recommend it, you guys, if you are in the market for some nice cool tone shades that are definitely different from what we're used to seeing. Um, I feel like you can get a, a lot of looks out of this. And there are some warm tones in here as well. So don't be scared if you are looking to, you know, venture out. Um, I feel like these cool tones are not too wild. They're definitely wearable for every day. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.